Hey, what's up everyone? Back here with the LOC 5T 2.0 and going to be installing the upgraded high-tech steering servo, the D845WP, as you can see there in the video. I got this from DDM, Dave's Discount Motor, not too long ago, as well as the whole LOC 5T 2.0 kit. The high-tech servo has a lot more torque than the stock steering servo. The stock steering servo has 416 ounce inches of torque at 6 volts. But the thing also is with the stock steering servo is that you can't go to 7.4 volts with it according to the high-tech website anyway. Now the D845WP goes to 562 ounce inches of torque just at 6 volts and that's 35% more torque just right there. Now if you go to 7.4 volts it jumps it all the way up to 694 ounce inches of torque, which is almost 70% more ounce inches of torque. Um, almost 70%. So uh, technically, I think it's like 67, 68% more torque. So anyway, uh, we're going to be uh, pulling the lid off here and going to be getting in here and installing this. So we'll be right back. All right, just pulled the body off. And uh, this is what you get with the kit, with the steering servo kit, D845WP. So I just need to take this one here off. I'm going to have to take the four bolts off, obviously, the screw on the servo arm, and the wire going down to the receiver there. And then I'm going to put this one in its place. So I will be right back. All right, so I have taken the steering servo off and I just wanted to point out that the gear here has the same, it's got the same teeth. So this steering servo will go right on to the high tech. So you don't even have to change this out if you do not want to. I'm gonna take the four screws off, remove this, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna get in the receiver box and remove the wire. I'll be right back. Just wanted to show you where I'm at with this. So I got the receiver top off, servo screws have been taken out. Now you will need to remember to put the rubber shock pieces back in to the new servo. And also take note that down here, there is a wire tie that ties that, all those wires together. So that has to be clipped before the stock servo can even come out. We'll be right back. Okay, so back with another note here. This piece here, you're gonna have to take the two screws off of it. So you have access down below to, to get to the wires especially when you go to put the wire back in. So the only way to get access to that is to take the two screws out and pop that off. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so now I got the two servos out here, comparing them together. You can see that the, the high tech is just a little bit bigger than the stock servo. And of course it's got a lot of, they might use those for heat sinks, I guess. I'm not sure how hot that's going to get really, but depending on how much bashing you're doing, I guess. Um, now, something to take note of, uh, may or may not matter to some people, but let's even those up there. The wire on the high tech is longer. So, it is, this one is quite a bit shorter on the stock one. So, just an FYI. All right, we're gonna install this one back in, uh, the new high tech, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. The servo's been installed almost. I just have to put the four screws in. The on off switch panel has been screwed down, and the wires do fit inside. It, uh, it has extra wire from that servo there, the wire's longer, but it does fit inside here. 
uh, for video purposes, I'm just going to put this receiver back in, even though I am switching over the, to the Fataba because I am doing the 7PXR. So I'll be switching over to a Fataba receiver. So I'll be doing the installation on that here soon. So anyway, I'm going to uh, put the receiver top back on and then get the four screws on the uh, servo and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. The high-tech servo is now completely installed, as you can see right there. The D845WP, the stock servo has been set aside. The next thing going on this will be the MGM Pro equipment. Uh, that'll be in here soon. It'll be running on 15S or 10S, uh, either one. So, um, actually, let me back up a little bit. The next install is actually going to be the receiver, the Futaba receiver, because I'm going to, I just got the 7PXR, so the Futaba receiver will be going in there. So, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, put those below and I'll um, get those answered. Thank you for watching. Until next time.